Well, hello again. Welcome again to another one of my podcasts, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. I almost said good morning, but it's not morning, it's afternoon. I actually made this video this morning. Lo and behold, I didn't have any sound, and I have no idea why the sound wasn't working. So hopefully I got sound on this one. Well, today we're going to be talking about where is Christianity today? Where are all the Christians? Uh, and that's probably a good question to ask because things have changed even since I was a Christian. With that said, I am just going to uh, turn this off if I can. There we go. Sorry, uh, sharing has stopped. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there, and I'm hoping that my recording's still working. And let me just do a quick share again. Uh, but I'm just going to share the screen here and see how this looks. I just wanted you to see my wallpaper. I thought it was awful pretty today. So with that, uh, I'm going to just grab my tablet over here. I'm going to turn this up a little bit here. No, we don't lose it. I actually, this morning, I put my tablet up to me here, and my screen went kind of foggy. Uh, let's hope it doesn't do it this time. Well, I have an article that I read this past week, and it was entitled, uh, uh, I am a believer, true or false. And in the first lesson, I thought it was so good. It says, are there few to be saved? You know, how many people are going to be saved? I know throughout the centuries, been a lot of people that have become Christians and are in heaven now. <coughs> Excuse me. But the question will be, will only a few people go to heaven when they die? What a question to ask, huh? Well, the scripture's answer to that profound question is yes. Yes. There'll only be a few people going to heaven when they die compared to the number of people that are in the world today. It says, uh, despite the loving intentions of our God, and it gives a list of scriptures, uh, John 3.16, which everybody knows, Second Peter 3.9 and 1 Timothy 2.4, most souls will not go there. When the disciples asked the Lord, are there few that be saved? In Luke uh, 13.23, and I just want to read that. Someone asked the Lord, Lord, well, only a few be saved. So he said to them, so what did he say to them? And this was his answer and to this question plainly. This is what he said. Straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads to life. And few there are that find it. Matthew uh, 7, 13 and 14. I think I'm just going to read that whole scripture. Enter through the narrow gate, and this is the net version, which I, I'm not real fond of, but I'll read it. Enter through the narrow gate, because the gate is wide and the way is spacious that leads to destruction. And there are many who enter through it. And then 714, but the gate is narrow and the way is difficult that leads to life. And there are few that find it. Well, that's quite a statement that the Lord made. Well, when I say where are all the Christians, or where is Christianity today? Uh, this question came up in an email about uh, when you go out to eat, do you see many people giving thanks for the mail and not too many 
In fact, you go into a restaurant, it's really rare to find somebody giving thanks. Oh, a while back, I was in, I think it was in Red Wing, uh, Minnesota. Uh, it could have been Winona, I'm not sure. My memory isn't that great anymore. But I do remember I was out to eat uh, with my wife and my granddaughter. And uh, we joined hands and we gave thanks. And we were eating our meal and a family came in. And they sat fairly close to us. And I noticed that the kids were laughing and they were really enjoying themselves. And uh, their meal was set on the table and everything got quiet. And they prayed. They all bowed their heads. And the father prayed and gave thanks for the meal. And then when he was done, he said, amen. And the kids started talking again and they were eating and joined their meal. I just couldn't help myself. I got up and I walked over to the table and I, I said, no, excuse me, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I says, I just wanted to tell you that I was really blessed to see you say grace before you all ate. And uh, they thanked me for saying that. And I said, there isn't too many that do it. And that's the truth. There isn't too many that give thanks for things anymore. Now, are Christians that naive that they don't do it anymore? Or, or is it just they feel foolish? Uh, maybe they don't want anybody to say anything to them. But the thing is, we are to be thankful for everything, and we're supposed to give thanks. Now, when you think about prayer, I know that the Lord says that when you pray, go in your closet. And, but that's when you're having your private prayer. Now, to pray in public, uh, I don't think that's a bad thing when it's giving thanks. If you're going to stand there to say, oh, look at me, I'm praying, I'm showing my righteousness or whatever be it, that's what the Lord was talking about. Now, to pray in a group, uh, that's biblical. I mean, uh, prayer meetings, look what happened when Peter was thrown in jail. The people were gathered, uh, and they were praying. In fact, uh, when Peter got out of jail, he, he, that's the first place he went, went to the prayer meeting to let them know that God had answered their prayer. And he knocked on the door, and uh, this one girl named Rhoda answered the door, and, and uh, she supposed it to be Peter's angel or spirit or something. Anyway, she ran back, and she says, Peter's at the door. <laughs> she forgot to open the door. Well, you know, sometimes we get surprised when God answers our prayers. But you know that we are to pray. Uh, and we are to give thanks for what we have. So the big question is, where are the Christians today? Where's Christianity? Well, I know that for a fact, there is a lot of professing Christians. And uh, they're not all Christians. Not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, excuse me, uh, will get into heaven. The Lord will say, depart from me. I know you're not. I'm working on a paper right now uh, to make sure that you're, you're saved. That's so important. And uh, these papers I'm working on is... Uh, that one I just read from. And I'm going to put a link in the description. And I want you, it's, a, it's like only, I think, a 12-minute read. And the computer will read it for you. But if you listen to it, you're to examine yourself. To look at your salvation. See if you're saved or not. 
not everybody is true Christians. And you got to make sure of your salvation. And that's what the Bible teaches. You know, I want all my children and my grandchildren and my great grandchildren and all my relatives and all my friends to know that they're going to heaven. Because John wrote his gospel and he said, I wrote this that you may know you have eternal life. You can know for sure. Oh, there are religions and leaders of religions that'll tell you you cannot know whether you're going <clears throat> to heaven or not, but you can know. The Bible tells you that. And I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible before anybody else. So I want you to remember the verse that we talked about. And I memorized it. Broad is the way and, uh, and easy is the way that leads uh, in the wrong direction. And I'm trying to remember exactly how it goes. Broad is the way and wide is the way that leads to destruction. And many there are that find it. But narrow is the way and hard is the way that leads to life. And few there are that find it. I want you to find that hard way. I want you to find that narrow way. It's hard to enter because it's narrow. And there's not many that will go that way. But that's the only way. And the Lord said this. There's salvation in no others, for no one comes to the Father except through me. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only way. I don't care what everybody tells you. And if they say it's Christ plus something, that's not true either. Because if it was Christ and something else, why did Christ die? He didn't have to die if there's a different way in. Christ is the only way to get into heaven, and it's a narrow way. You got to pick up your Bibles, and you got to read it, and you'll find the way of salvation, the true way. Don't be one of those that when you, when you uh, come to the door and you knock, and the Lord says, depart from me, I know you not, and you don't get in. Or you're like the one who enters with the wrong uh, garment on. You don't have the garment of salvation. And the Lord threw him in outer darkness. And it was wailing and gnashing of teeth. You know, the Lord prepared hell for the devil and the fallen angels. He doesn't want anybody to go there. The Lord said this, he wants no one to perish. No, not one. But you're going to choose which way you want to go. So if you end up in hell, you got nobody to blame but yourself. You chose that way. But the way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Well, that's it. I'm going to end my podcast here. And hopefully this one, the sound turned out. The last one, <laughs> it didn't turn out. I basically said the same thing. So, all right, I'm going to end my podcast. Bye for now.